So our questions here require us to look at these inequalities and to express their sets in interval notation. So the first one I have is x is less than seven. So I'd like to draw a number line. It's less than, so we don't include the point, and it's less than, so six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, et cetera, would be included in that set. So interval notation always goes left to right. So starting at the left, ending at the right. Seven's on the right and it's a round bracket because I never actually get to seven and it goes as far left as you want. So it goes to negative infinity again. I never actually get there. So I use a round bracket to indicate that fact. Our next question is X is greater than or equal to negative five. So substantially different, greater than is gonna to head to the right rather than heading to the left. Negative five, I, I believe is what it was. I'll check to make sure, yep. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna go ahead and recognize that negative five is here. It'll be a solid dot and we're gonna to head to the right. Interval notation always goes left to right. Keep that in mind, please. Now, what can we say about that? How far right does it go? I'm sorry, wrong bracket here, which we'll see in a minute. It goes as far as positive infinity this way. On the left, it goes to negative five, but then that will be a square bracket. It's a square bracket because I actually do get to negative five. It includes negative five because of the equal sign. The fact that it's greater than or equal to gives me square bracket negative five to infinity. Okay, next up we have negative two, less than x, less equal 11. Let's look at that. What will that be? We have negative two, we have 11. It does not include negative two because it's less than, it does include 11. And it's everything in between. So this is the set written that way. In interval notation, that would be round bracket because we don't actually get there negative two comma 11 square bracket because we do actually get there. Okay. Next up I have X is greater than five and X is less than 17. So where are they both true at the same time? greater than five. So here's what I like to think about this. Here's five, here's 17. Make sure you put five on the left and 17 on the right. Greater than five, so we go this way, greater than five, less than 17, so we go that way. And where are they both true? Where are both true simultaneously? In the middle. And either the first is true or the second is true or both are true is or, excuse me, and both have to be true simultaneously at the same time. This is true and this is true, intersection of the two sets, right? This is the same as saying x is greater than five, intersect x is less than 17. What does that give me? That gives me this region, which is round bracket five comma round bracket 17 and, first is true and the second is true. Next one is or x is less than negative two or x is greater than or equal to seven. So let's think about that one. X is less than negative two or x is greater or equal to seven. So I like to use my dotted line things. Again, negative two is to the left, seven is to the right. Less than, open circle, greater, equal, solid less than headed this way, greater than headed that way, or which would be the same thing as union. We could also say X is less than negative two union X greater or equal seven. Where is one or the other or both true here, here, which will give me left to right now, negative infinity, 
comma, negative two round bracket because I don't include it, union together with the second piece, square bracket because seven is included, comma, plus infinity there. And I believe there's one more. Finally, x is greater or equal six and x is less than negative two. Which of course the other notation I could say is x greater or equal six intersection, x is less than negative two. So, and both have to be true simultaneously. Six, negative two, six is to the right, negative two is to the left, that's important. So let's look at this piece, greater than or equal to six, six headed this way, less than negative two headed that way. Where are they both true? Where are both sets existing at the same time? Remember an intersection, you're on two streets at the same time. The intersection of these two streets is that portion that is on both streets at the same time. What's on both of these sets at the same time? Nothing. Right? There is no point. Not even that solid six is in both sets. Here to the left, here to the right, there's nothing in common to both. Nothing in common to both. So what's my answer? My answer is the empty set. Written that way, maybe. Or written that way, maybe.